Greetings. Today we're going to look at guides and rulers. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction, so let's just get started. One of the things that you'll need to do to use guides is you'll need to bring your rulers out. Now there's two ways to bring your ruler out. One is to go up to view, come down to where it says rulers, and that will bring it in. The other way is the shortcut, which is command R. And you can see where I'm just using command R, I've brought up my rulers. Right now it's in inches. If you want to change that, you can right click on the ruler and it gives you different units of measurement. I'll keep it at inches for now. If I want to change where the ruler is set, right now it's set as zero at the corner, say I want it in the center. I can go up to this corner and I drag out and I can put it anywhere I want. Say if I want to make it on this corner. So now you can see where the zero is set up to right here. I'm going to do Command Z and undo that and put our zero mark at the corner of the image. Now let's take a quick look at guides. To use guides, you'll need to make sure that you're in the Move tool. You can either go to the corner of the menu and click on the Move tool there, or you can hit V and it will do the same thing. Guides can come either from the top or the left side. I can go over here, click and drag a guide out. I can go up here and click and drag a guide out. A quick way to change a vertical line to a horizontal is to click and drag and hold the Alt Option down and it will turn it into a horizontal. And I can do the same thing up here. If I click and drag and hit the Alt, it will change it to a vertical. Now, I've got a lot of lines. I don't necessarily want all of these lines here. I want to redo what, I, what I've got. I can go up to View, go all the way down, and Clear Guides. And now they're gone. So let's start lining some of this up. I can go in manually and drag these in and just kind of arbitrary place some. Now, if I like where they are but I want to see what it looks like without them, I can hit Command H real quick and hide them. So now you don't see them. If I want to bring them back, all I do is hit Command H again. As long as I'm in the V tool, I can move any of these things anywhere I want. Say I want to put guides all around the green box. First, I will go up here and I will clear my guides. One of the things that you can do, if you look down here, you can see I've got the green box highlighted. So I can go up to view and go to new guides from shape. And it will put guides all the way around that box. Say I would like it around the type as well. I'll click on the type layer, I'll go to view, new guides from shape, and now you have them all. I have everything outlined here. And this will give me a good idea of how I might want to line up additional items. Now that I've got all of these lined up, I can add different pieces of type, I can move the box around. Maybe I want to take the type and line it up with the edge of the green box. So I'll use my move tool, pull it over, and there you go. There's one other thing that I will show you as far as guides. Oftentimes you may want your guides to actually snap to a layer. First, let's get rid of all of these guides. We'll go to View, Clear Guides, and now I'll go to View, Snap to Layer. Right now I have the type layer selected, and if I pull a guide down, you can see where it actually snaps to it. Now, it's not snapping to the green because I don't have the green box selected. If I click on that layer and grab one down, you can see where it snaps to that. Hopefully that helps. More to come.